I'm going to run real quick through the complex number program that is on the HP 20s. So go to my program space. I'm going to load C. That's the complex numbers. And then I don't have to add anything to this program at this time, so go back out. Now the way this works is you use the input key to separate your real and your imaginary. So for example, I'm going to do 4, the real part, and then input 3 for my imaginary part. And now I'm going to execute the part of the program that I want to do uh, for an operation. So I'm going to execute A, that is for addition. So it knows that I'm going to add a second number to it now. If I executed B, that would be for subtraction. That would know that I'm going to subtract the next number. Next would be multiply. Next would be divide. And then next would be the reciprocal. And then we have the integer power. So the first number to the power of the second, I believe. And then lastly would be the magnitude of the complex number that I'm entering. So I need my second number, which is 5 minus J2. So 5, input 2, do that, and then hit run stop. And it'll show me the imaginary part first. So J1, and then to see the other one, I hit shift swap, and 9 is what I get. So let's clear that. And we're going to do this other operation. So we're going to divide the numbers. So the first number is 4 input 3. And we are going to execute A, B, C, D. We're going to execute the D part of the program. And the second number is 5 and then 2, swap, and hit run stop. So we have 0.79 for the imaginary part. If we swap it, then we have 0.48 for the real part. For me, I did it in that order, A, B, C, D, because I'm not going to remember which is which on the fly. I'd have to carry a cheat sheet around with me all the time. But you have A, B, C, D, and then you have E uh, for your reciprocal, uh, F for your integer power, and then your magnitude is going to be execute 9. Let's, let's do the magnitude real quick. Yeah, and that's another one. I guess ABS. You can remember it off of ABS. But I've got, uh, let's see, so 4 and 3, and I want to take the magnitude of that. So I'm going to execute 9. And that should give me 5 as the magnitude. And that's correct. No second number to swap because we only have the magnitude of it. So that's basic complex numbers operation. Um, not the most intuitive, but it gets the job done. Just keep in mind again that when you load a program, you go into the program space and you load one of the default programs, that it erases everything else that was entered into the program space. So if you had entered a, a root solver, a uh, function, it's gone. If you'd entered your own program to do whatever keystrokes, it's gone. You get only one program loaded into memory at a time, or one, one thing in program space.